Size punches are good. You got my instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times with my command. Touch them up. You ready? You ready? Every story needs an antagonist. Rolly Romero embraces it. And they do. Uh, Jackson Marini has out jabbed him. A lot of people thought he was. surprised if um, Rory Romero ends up suing Floyd Mayweather for what happened here this is a disgrace now I just saw a video that about a month ago Tiafoma Lopez who supposedly knows something about Rory Romero said that Rory Romero was injured going to the fight that doesn't excuse the fact that the guy absolutely sucks anyway but let's just set the fact that the guy sucked the guy is absolute shit the truth of the matter is, he had an opportunity, despite being a sucky fighter, to be in a very big fight that was going to generate him probably life changing money. Because of the way he would have talked the fight up, the way he, he and Ryan Garcia would have gone at it, Ryan Garcia was absolutely and totally more enthusiastic about that fight than he is about Devin Haney. And quite frankly, he probably knew he was going to win the fight. But he takes this bad advice from this 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 boxer who seems to feel that he's some sort of media manipulator and boxing mogul and takes this fight against Isaac Cruz. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know who was going to win because Isaac Cruz's style, Pitbull's style, he's short. Um really the America you know, suppose they can win, but I know, you know, suppose they can punch, not win. Suppose they can punch, so you never know. Maybe it could have been, you know, people cheat for Oli Romero anyway. They'd be sort of carrying him. So I, I do really didn't want to say anything. However, I did hear Boxing Beats Rhymes have to be very adamant about it. Like, pff, he doesn't see that that go in any other way than Isaac Cruz winning and you know I, I w honestly I was just like uh, uh, how do you call it agnostic about it I, I, I didn't I didn't really care however in the aftermath of this fight I'm looking at it and I'm thinking like this is an absolute total disgrace not that I really want to sympathize with all four Rodri Romero but we've got to be honest here this is pure pure bad management I'm not going to speak about the Fondera. I've never liked Fondera anyway. Once he got, once he got sort of um, put into the fight, sort of forced into the fight with Tim Zhu, I knew that that was just going to be a mess. 
I, I, I can't stand the guy. I want some, you know, I'm at a point where I, I really want something bad to happen to him. I want to get, no, I can't stand it. Every fight he, he's in is a mess, is vile. You know, so I can't, I can't be bothered with that dude. It is what it is. And he doesn't really look like a fighter that you really, he should go and play basketball or something. Fuck that. Anyway, he might be the first Mexican good basketballer or something. Well, very highly unlikely that's going to happen. But nonetheless, it is what it is. Um, yeah, all I got, all I got to say about that is this: like Willie Romero, he got destroyed. He looked like shit out there. He looked dumb. But I'm not gonna blame him alone. I think that he had an opportunity to build up to a very good fight with Ryan Garcia. It would have been fantastic. He took Al Heyman, and well, I'm not even gonna say Al Heyman. I think that's Floyd's advice, thinking they're smart. And look at look at the guy now. That's the end of it, to be honest with you. That's the end of it. And from what we've been seeing about Ryan Garcia, not, not Ryan Garcia, Rolly Romero, he, this is not that enthusiastic about boxing anymore anyway. He's, he had to try and, force this, try and force a way to sell this fight against Isaac Cruz. I suppose it worked because there was a crowd there. It was kind of loud. The Mexicans would buy anything as long as he's making gano, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't fuck with him, you know what I mean? All for the fight they're talking about uh, Guerrero Mexicano, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, nobody else can talk about race except them. They're like fucking Palestinians to keep it real with you. They're that special. They have a special sector for Mexicans in boxing. So I don't fuck with them. You know what I mean? Nobody else, anybody else, get involved in that. Oh, it's racism. Why are you bringing race into sport? Why are you bringing natural? Well, it should just be about boxing. So that's why. I mean, they're entitled to it. Just don't hold it up standard. And the whole boxing fraternity holds a double standard for Mexicans because of money. That's just, you know, it is what it is. So, um, that being said, I'm not going to say congratulations to Isaac Cruz. You know, I, don't, I don't say that type of shit. But it is, uh, it is a shame. It is a shame for Olivia Romero especially. I'm not going to say he doesn't deserve it, but you know what? In a way, he doesn't deserve it. From a life stance. A boxing stance, yes, he deserves it. But from a life uh, from a well, I would say business stance, but from a uh, in terms of life in general, in terms of the money he could have made, in, in terms of the kind of event he could have been in, not saying it would have been any different, but then again, it could have been. It could have been different. It wouldn't have been that. It wouldn't have sort of. Be, it certainly wouldn't have been that sort of beatdown that he got from Isaac Cruz there, because right, Ryan Garcia is a different type of fighter. It would have been a more glamorous affair. And he would have sort of like, uh, <coughs> how he, he probably would have died and left a pretty corpse. <laughs> just, let's just put it that way. Obviously, I'm, pay, I'm, I'm being figurative about it. You know what I'm saying? But be metaphoric about it. But, uh, you know, this this was very, not pretty at all. This was an ugly corpse he just left there. That's an ugly corpse was his career. He ain't coming back from that. Fuck it. But maybe that's what he deserves because of all the robberies they've done for the dude. So, there you go.